製品は18歳未満の方はプレイすることができませんこの作品はフィクションです登場する人物名団体名地名設定等は全て架空のものであり実在するものとは一切関係ありません。Alrighty, bro, I don't need to hear all of that every single time I open the game. What's going on, you two? My name is Vitamin Distance. I've water on my chin. Welcome back to some cafe, Stella. Look, I don't want to hear it. I'm kidding, I'm probably not even going to hear it anyways. It's my channel. You're here, you're going to watch anyways. This is my channel, and、uh, today I say we play cafe, Stella. Because I told myself, we're going to play cafe, Stella before starting Golden Time. I didn't do that. I jumped right into Golden Time. We're now 13 episodes in. <laughs> We're still not done with Cafe Stella. <laughs> oh my god. I know there's some people too that are like, hey, so、uh, when we finish Cafe Stella? And I'm like, we're not gonna. <laughs> We're not gonna finish Cafe Stella. Even though it was literally, literally, literally the first visual novel, aside from Killer Love, but I mean, let's say first Yuzu Soft visual novel. And it's now gonna be the last one I'm gonna beat or finish playing. Isn't that fantastic? It's not. Anyways, let's get started. I don't remember where we left off. So,、uh, yeah, hopefully, this is almost done. I'm so done with this room. Not that it's been like dreadful, I'm making it sound like it's the worst thing I've ever like, seen. But it has not been. It has not been. It's just I'm ready to move on to greater things. Greater things such as Akizuki san. You know what I mean? Not Nozomen! The toxic one here. Welcome back, Nozomi. Having just returned from the cafe, Nozomi appears out of breath. Oh, before I go on, too, I also said on my second channel that I was gonna be every. not Well, yes, every game that I have started so far up until the point that I decided to make the second channel. And so I'm doing that, but now I really wanna play another game, which I've been talking about for a while Resident Evil 4 Remake. So I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play Callisto Protocol. Because I watched Markiplier play it and now I want to play it. But the funny thing here is that I actually started playing it before I knew Markiplier played it, which he had already played a, a year ago. He didn't finish, I think, but he played it a year ago. And when I had seen that he had played it, I had already played it. Not all of it, I only played a part of it, but then somewhere in between of me, at some point while I was playing, I was like, yo, wait, don't play anymore. Like, we could play this on the channel and it's gonna be even more rewarding because, like I've talked about before, I do enjoy a good old video game on my own, but most of the time I enjoy sharing the video game experience, the game experience, the story with people. It, for me, it feels more fulfilling, it feels more rewarding rather than if I am playing it by myself and I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? But yeah, if you have not checked out the second channel, the second channel is、uh, what, Vitamin D. Go. Subscribe there too if you want more of me. That's not this, which there's nothing wrong if you like either or and both or not both, but you know, you should totally check it out if you're into other games that are not visual novels. Having just returned from the cafe, cafe, Nozomi appears out of breath. Nozomi <laughs> holds out a brown paper enveloped with the meat. On the front of the words, To my fool of a son, talk about rude. I proceed to open it. Ah,、uh, inside are the three 10,000 yen bills along with a note. Here's your New Year's gift. Take Nozomi Chan. <laughs> Nozomi Chan somewhere nice, Dad. He could have at least bought a proper gift bag. Yeah, he could have. He indeed could have. But while I grumble out loud, I think him quietly in my heart. I'm gonna say it again. I really love the art in this visual novel. It's so unique looking. Until next time. Well, it's not super unique, but it's just, it gives off a very different vibe to what I've been playing. Until next time. Take care, Dad. I swear to God, every time I press record, it's like a button to activate messages caused to come in all at once. Isn't that great? It's not great. <laughs> no. Morning arrives as usual, along with Nozomi. Unlike usual, however, she's wearing a school uniform costume. Look, I'm not into the whole cosplay thing. Is it cool? Yes. Are some women or men. Do men do cosplay? I'm sure they do. I've seen some cosplays that I'm like, okay, that's pretty spot on, or that's pretty good. But I'm in no way attracted to that, or like, have a fetish with that. Can't even say I understand it. I don't judge. Ugh. 
Fed up with me lazing around, she snatches my pillow away. Wait, how did she hear my inner monologue? Relax, Nozomen. There's no rush. For me, at least. I told you, I've already got most of the credits I need. I can afford to skip a day or two of class. She's such a mom. But it's so cold and my bed's so warm. Can't resist. It's too late. I can't fight the Sandman any longer. Good night, Nozomen. <laughs> Hmm? Something soft seems to have crawled under my cover. Climbing on top of me, she rolls up my pajamas and begins tickling the back of my knees. That's oddly specific. What? The Zoman! Stop! Ha ha ha! Kill her. No! Ha uh, ha ha ha! Though I try to skip, the Zomit swivels her lower half towards me, clamping her legs firmly around my body. Is this the reverse cowgirl position? No! 69? Both the Zomit's panties and bare ass are staring me right in the face. Great. Zomit, wait! This position is really. <laughs> <laughs> I like my voice acting. I'm pretty good, am I? No, I can't stop laughing. I'm also growing excited too. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can already feel my nether region beginning to react. But as a physiological, physiological phenomenon, there isn't much I can do about it. <laughs> we are bricked up. What? This is just, uh, you know, morning wood. The wood morning. Have mercy! By now I'm wide awake. What a way to start the day. Getting threatened to have your wood snapped in half doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> what? Can you not eat with your mouth full? This is the thumbnail. Ms. Omen sits across from me, shoveling breakfast into her mouth while simultaneously chewing me out. Good grief, having such dirty thoughts first thing in the morning. I think she was trying to say. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I have to refrain from mentioning how excited her butt had gotten me. Her eyes glint menacingly. No, I wasn't. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's only the third day out here. She asks me like an interrogator questioning her suspect. Suspect. I, I remember. Alright, now that's not fair. How am I supposed to get good at the sex thing if I can't watch any videos? It's just for educational purposes. Zoman leans her face forward, still holding her bowl of ice. Yeah, I remember. I lean my face back while answering. The pressure com were coming from her gaze is overwhelming. And what if I don't? Got it. I nod sincerely. Almost insincerely, but sincerely. In all honesty though, her demands feel a tiny bit unreasonable. But I love Nozomen, and if that's how she really feels, I have no choice but to accept. Nah, I can't ask you to feed me on days when I'm not even helping around the shrine. Or just buy a bento from the convenience store or something. God, a woman that can cook for you? Amazing. Uh, are you now? That's tempting. Since I live alone, I really have the motivation to eat hot pot on my own. This woman gives me a bright smile. A smile full of love and motherly affection. Well, well alright. I'll come over for dinner tonight. I can never say no to that smile. Nor do I want to. 
she beams. Ah, my girlfriend truly is an angel. From getting jealous over a few porn mags earlier to this. Ha, <laughs> Nozomi can be equal parts spoiled child and kindly mother sometimes. I guess that's what they call Gap Mao? Just thinking about how cute you are. <laughs> that had to be a very fake laugh. This time her smile is that of my innocent childhood friend. Holy crap. Sashi booty indeed. Where the freak have you been, dude? Yeah, happy new year. My first day back to school since the new year. When I arrive, I immediately run into Hiroto. How is it that there's so many roots and you still can't pull one woman? I don't understand. Uh-huh. So it turns out. Alright, this dude's always a Debbie Downer. He never has good news, I swear. I've never once heard him say something positive come from his life. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiroto broods gloomily. Still, it's not like I expected things to end up this way when I invited you. But you never know when or where you'll fall in love. So thanks for the tickets, Hirata. Seriously, I'm grateful. And you know what's the thing too? This dude is like, not unattractive. This dude's handsome. Like, you literally have no game if you look good and still can't pull anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you have everything, well, I guess not everything, clearly, because you still can't pull anything. Ten roots in. He pleads with me, but I'm not sure I'd really be able to introduce him to anyone at work. After all, they already know who he is. Why don't you apply to work at the cafe, too? We could always use more male help. Pause. What do you mean a full course load? <laughs> Maybe this isn't the best time to be looking for a girlfriend then. Talk about desperate. Oh, he sure is. Oh no, get away from Shikisan. That's one. That one's mine. What? Why Shikisan? First of all, I'm almost positive she hates social events like that. Oh, twin. I forgot they refer to her as the solitary sniper. That's kind of a hard name. <laughs> alright, alright, god dang, shut up. Well, fine, I'll try asking. What? Now that's the first time I've heard something like that. Let's hear it again. That's what I hear. What are you, a samurai? But to be honest, I don't think Shikisan actually has many friends, so... Oh, look who it is. Speak of the devil, it's the solitary sniper herself. Oh, yeah, we were. Uh, uh, wow. I don't think she'd be very happy to hear the truth. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I hope having been spectacularly dashed, I turned the Hiroto and crossed my arms into an axe. Spouting an ancient meme from a certain now defunct online text board? Hiroto runs off. Still gotta graduate, pal. You have to come back sometime. Her voice. Oh my god, so soothing. I love it. That's why I miss this game so much, too. You hear her voice? Nah, it's nothing. Don't worry about him. She brings her face closer, whispering in my ear. Her situation? Oh, right. I guess I haven't told you yet. Nozomin doesn't sense anything around the shrine anymore. 
I think it's safe to say that the red butterfly has gone back to sleep. Whoa, what she asked me to do was take her as girlfriend. She some blinks in surprise, placing a hand to her chest. I guess I'm not the only one who realizes how cute this woman is. Oh, she certainly was adorable, now that I think back on it. I'm never going to let this memory fade away. I'm going to record it vividly into my brain space forever. I miss her already. I'm sure you do. Hmm? Everything's going swimmingly. Suzune-san jabs her index finger towards me. Me? I'd never. Uh, well, how long has it been? Like three days? Nah, who knows? Well, no, but I am dating. Dating? Eating, di daddy? Eating dinner with her and her family tonight. Don't say that. Now I'm starting to feel anxious. Thanks for the advice. I can always count on Suzune to look out for me. Incidentally, there's one other thing I'd like your advice on. Do you think it'd be okay if I took you on a day to Mouseland again? For real, for real. I don't really know where else to take her, though. Oh, good idea. I can just ask Nozomi herself. Just a bummer, a bummer buzzer somewhere sounds. What is this, a quiz show? <laughs> Let me think. Honestly, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Well, she likes sweets, I guess. Now that I think about it, last time. Mm hmm. What? Mamas? Slow down there. Three donuts is kind of a lot, no? No, 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 Three donuts is honestly crazy. They do. Uh, okay. That's what she told me. Donuts don't count, apparently. Indeed. That's what I thought. I knew it didn't sound right. The freak, how old are you? I still don't even know, I think. Or if I ever even knew how old she actually is. I knew she was older than the main character, but how much older exactly? She gazes wistfully off into the distance because she's making it sound like she's in like her late 30s or something. I guess Suzuna-san has her own share of calorie related troubles as well. Look how thin she is. You think she has any calorie problems? It does not look like it. Anyway, I'll keep trying to think of different places in the zombie might like to go. 
どうしてもわかんないときは、さりげなく日常会話で聞き出すといいよ。Being nonchalant isn't exactly my forte. <笑>悩め悩め。そしていい男に成長しろ。Laughing, Suzume san walks off to take a break. Another day, huh? I'd better think of something that Nozomi will like. Yes, you better. You ought to do that. ごめんね、買い物付き合わせちゃって。It's the least I can do since you're treating me to dinner. On the way home from work, I met up with Nozomi to buy a few groceries. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't strangely excited. Going to the supermarket together with my girlfriend feels like something a couple living together would do. <laughs> That must be so awkward. <laughs> no, but if I did have a girlfriend. And I was mistaken as a sibling. And we were mistaken as siblings. I would definitely say yes. And then kiss her in the mouth right in front of whoever said that. <laughs> you know how uncomfortable the person must feel after that interaction? They're never gonna ever point anything like that out again. Ever. It'll be the last time they'll open their mouth. <laughs> Zoman pouts down happily. No? Well, you are wearing your school uniform. She puffs out her chest proudly. Are you? Aside from the size of her bust, I have to admit, she does come off as rather childish. I'm not really sure that makes you mature. Caring, maybe. Or perhaps motherly would be a better word, but I feel like she wouldn't feel very flattered to hear that. It's been three days. Your charms are that you're family oriented, you're kind, and you're cute. Am I wrong? No! <laughs> Mozomen looks flustered. Ah, now that she mentions it, that was a little embarrassing. Sorry, my true feelings just slipped out for a sec. Can never win with this one. <sighs> Sorry, just forget it. Guess I'm still a beginner boyfriend. So much for being nonchalant. Whether I like it or not, my true feelings always end up leaking out. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I don't want you to change. Hmm? I look in the direction the Zomin is pointing. But there isn't anything to see except. <gasps> I love black cats, holy crap. Can we see it? Did they draw an animation for it? Please, let me be surprised. Please. There it is. Hiding in the shadow of a nearby utility pool is a small black kitten. How cute. Zoman runs over to the small animal. The cat stays put as it watches her beeline towards it. Zoman, still no animation for the cat? Alright. Zoman crouches down to the ground, happily playing with the cat. Come to think of it, you've always really liked cats. When Mikado first revealed his true form to her, she couldn't keep her hands off of him either. Same. 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 Oh, that's terrible. That's torture. Ah.、Uh, Sucks that your mom's allergic to. Hmm? Wait, that's the perfect idea. Give her mom an allergic reaction and send her to the hospital? That's a great idea. What do you say we both schedule a day off work this weekend and go out together? 
I just thought of some place you'd really like. Is it the Cat Island in Japan? I stoop down next to the woman and rest my hand on top of her head. Yeah, so apparently there's a cat island in Japan. And I'm gonna go there when I go to Japan. Both the woman and the kid tilt their heads quizzically at me. Why is the cat acting like they know what we're talking about? Hey, somewhere you are gonna love. On Sunday, through some stroke of luck, both Nozomen and I were allowed to take the day off. It's finally time for a second date. Nozomen walks beside me, brooding. Yep, I'm positive you're going to enjoy yourself there. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you started jumping up and down with joy. I declare assertively, holding her hand even tighter. Nozomi gives me a withering stare. No, I'm not. Have a little more faith in me, Nozomi. Alright. Okay, hold on. Let's suppose that that was true. Why are you being so mean to him about it? Like, he's trying. <laughs> I came up with this myself, I swear. I don't like this one. I'm sorry. She ain't for me. You know what? I take that back. I'm not sorry. <laughs> really. She's better off as a homie. You won't be disappointed. I give her hand the confident squeeze. Shortly thereafter, we arrive at our destination. Here we are. Standing in front of the store, I glance apprehensively at Nozomi's expression. Is it a cat store or something? Where you can adopt cats and play with them? I sparkling excitedly, she grabs my hand and drags me into the store. Oh, that's so cute. I love cats. Oh, so we get a blue cat, but not a black one? All right. All right. Or that could be the thumbnail. As soon as she entered the store, Nozomen rushed over to the nearest group of cats. When he saw her, the cats immediately approached Nozomen as well. Apparently, cats love her as much as she loves them. What do you want to order, Nozomen? A cat cafe? That's my guess. Hmm. Looks like my girlfriend's been completely stolen away by these cats. But for the time being, I ordered two coffee Cat Cafe. Two coffees before heading back to her. So, what do you think? Do you like the place? Door door? Bro hit how I confuse Oh my god. I'm on one today. Looks like he was spot on. Huh? She holds out a small American short hair. You think so? I stare at the tiny kid. It's two round eyes stare back at me. Suddenly it starts hissing at me. That's how they sound. In Japan? <laughs> what I do? That's unfortunate. Nozomen hurriedly pulls her back, giving it a few reassuring rubs. Back in Nozomen's arms, it purrs contentedly. Uh, I feel defeated for some reason. On second thought, he's nothing like me. I never discriminate between men and women like that. I don't see a problem. I mean, there's generally not many guys out there who aren't fond of women. Next, Nozomen holds out a regal look. I was gonna say legal looking person with a glossy coat. Well, well, aren't you a haughty one? This particular cat seems like exude in there of refinement. Uh, here, kitty, kitty. Stretch out my head, crooning it as gently as I can manage. The person gives me one look, yawns, and turns its head away. It's a clear and outright rejection. 
Dang it! Just got snubbed by a cat, yo. Feeling completely out of place, yo. Wish there was a cat seed that I could pet in my heart's content, yo. I feel that. What? what? <sighs> Stay strong, Kose. Wrapping inside my head, I re <laughs> wrapping inside my head, I resign myself to penning in an imaginary cat seat. Oh, what? I don't think these cats want anything to do with me, Nozomi. Oh god, sorry I punched the mic. Oh my god. <laughs> Casual. Natural. <laughs> not now, allergies, not now. <laughs> this time she hands me a mixed breed kitten. Still, it's quite cute. I'm being casual, being natural. Don't mind me, just talking to myself. He's a cat seed hair. He's a cat seed hair. Try to convince myself this to be true. That's called gaslighting. It works. He looks just like a cat seed hair now. I can do this. I can pet him. I timidly reach out my hand. Yeah. Cat seed in number two, or so I call them, for as happily as I rub his fur. <laughs> yeah, good kitty. Cat seed they really do have the best fur, don't they? <laughs> Cat seed hey. Fluffy, fluffy. What? Oh wait, isn't he kind of a god now? That would make sense. Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, looks like our time's almost up. We'd better get going, Zomen. Before we leave, Nozomen gives each cat a final pat on the head. Cats rub themselves all over Nozomi as if begging her to stay. <laughs> oh, that's always the tough part. I love animals, man. They're the best. The reason I don't or wouldn't want a pet right now, at least by myself, is because there's some other things that I'd rather do. I have other things that I'd rather do than take care of animals, and taking care of an animal requires a lot of time. A lot of time. That's if you want to take care of it properly. They sure do love you, Nozomi. Guess it's not surprising that they'd prefer a cute girl over a guy like me. Oh well. I've got my own cat seed anyway. I'll make sure I pet him as much as I want next time. <laughs> well, that's been fun. <laughs> Bro's having an orgasm in the bathroom. <laughs> oh wait, orgasms aren't supposed to make you feel unwell, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have donuts for lunch though. I told Nozomi that we could have lunch wherever she wanted. Donuts for lunch? Hearing that, she suggested we go to the donut store right next door to the cat cafe. Guess we got pretty lucky today then. Still, I can't say I was really feeling. There's no way I'd be able to eat like five. Wait, what? Let me try again. There's no way I'd be able to eat five like you. Too much sugar for me. All the donuts I'd either been covered in chocolate or cream too. But they're designed to be sweet. Sweetness went well back. Went well with black coffee, giving it a different flavor. I think you've had a few too many calories today, Nozomi. 
くんドーナツは実質ゼロカロリーなんだよ。I wish I could do that level of gaslighting to myself. Suzuna san told me that was complete and utter nonsense. So, so na go do n i desu yo. Then why are you averting your eyes? So, that's the nice, so that's the nice yo. Ah, me te, you ho da yo, kosei k u n She said yufu. <laughs> I've never heard UFO in Japanese. That sounds funny. She says blankly trying to change the subject. Mind if I touch your belly, Nozomen? I'm not worried about your figure so much as your health. Really? I don't think you have any reason to. If anything, she should be bragging about how shapely her body is. I guess that's true. Nozomen's essentially the Akaiwa Shrine's idol, after all. Why there? It's the weekend. It should be fine as long as you're with me. There are plenty of people who come on weekends for club activities and stuff. For real? What about working at the shrine instead once you graduate? Girls sure are realistic about these things. Not like those guys who always have our heads in the clouds. But I have thought about it seriously. I want to keep the shrine running. I was going to have you support me with your earnings as a shrine mating YouTuber. I don't know about that. I plan on working too, of course. I'll be in charge of setting up your equipment and editing your videos. Wait, that just means I'll end up being your giggle anyway. But if Nozomen san wants to be the breadwinner, that's fine for me. That's fine by me. She grabs my hand, tugging me forward. Well, alright. I didn't think I'd be going to school on my date today. Yeah, that doesn't sound nice. Yeah, we've got a ton of students here. I take Nozomi for a leisurely stroll around campus. Although it's a Sunday, there's still quite a few students milling around. About. Nozomi goes over to the bulletin board to check out all the individual different club recruitment posters. Yeah, some people are more interested in doing club stuff than actually going to class. Especially the jocks in the athletics club. Well, you know me. I wanted to focus on my academics like a good student. I had a hard time dealing with super social people when I first got into university. I didn't have the courage to mingle with the groups I was bound to feel excluded from anyway. No, not anymore. Not unless they're the ones of those rowdy fat types. Working at the cafe has really improved my interpersonal skills. Heck, I even managed to get myself a girlfriend. Well, my schedule's kind of full working at the cafe and helping around the shrine these days.
Nozomen studies the bulletin board some more with a pensive expression. Enough about me, Nozomen. You came here to see the place for yourself, didn't you? Let's go take a look at the classrooms. You'll probably want to see where you're going to be taking the entrance exam. Nozomen wraps both their arms around mine extremely naturally. As we make our way across the quad, the male students while we pass all turn their heads to look at us. Nozomen's already becoming the talk of the school. And at this moment, I, as her boyfriend, am walking with her arm in arm. At last, Takamine Kosei. Society has acknowledged you as a fully fledged normie. Or Chad, I'm so glad I came here with you today, Nozomen. Says that after. <laughs> He's crying. Don't worry, those are these are tears of joy. The door to the lecture hall, lecture hall is unlocked, but nobody is inside. As a result, the room feels even bigger than usual. We don't have assigned seats or anything, but I usually sit over here. I head over to my usual spot and sit down. Nozomen follows suit, plopping herself down beside me. Nozomen points toward the teacher's podium. Sure. This good? I do as she says, standing in front of the whiteboard. Some people do that, yeah. Huh? Talk about putting me on the spot. I can't just improvise a lesson like that. What kind of subject would I teach anyway? I'm gonna have to pass on that one. She definitely doesn't think they're cool at all. That might be the least helpful thing you could have said. Now I understand why the housewives of the world get so annoyed when they ask their husbands what they want to eat for dinner. Alright, why don't we review some Japanese? I know it's one of your worst subjects. I pick up a marker and begin scribbling on the whiteboard. You don't read a lot of books, do you, Nozomi? Reading comprehension is necessary for all subjects. In other words, if you improve your Japanese, there's a good chance that your grades will improve in other areas as well. Oh, I read a lot too. You know what's crazy? Sometimes I'd be trying to make myself... Okay, not tr make myself, but I want to read on my like on my free time. And yes, this is pretty much free time too. This is what you're watching here. But I'd be wanting to read a book after reading a visual novel. So it's like... My brain's like, nope. Like, we already read. Why are we still reading more? Whatever way you look at it, this is a game. But in a way, it's also a book. It's a hybrid, I'd say. A very interactive one. And it's still reading. And there are definitely, definitely times where I see a word in English here that I do not understand at all. I'm like, as you guys have seen many times where I'm like, hey, Siri, what's this? What's this? I probably have like 10 books that I want to get through, but... At this point, I'm not going to get through it. <laughs> I'm not going to get through any of them. And if I do, it's going to be a very, very long time till I finish all of them. Really? In that case, the train came out of the long tunnel in there. I read this famous line from Snow Country on the white point. You should be able to complete this sentence. Okay, my bad. I guess that one was too difficult for you. I quickly erased the sentence from the whiteboard, leaving no trace. Are you? Let's make things easier and start with a simple quiz. I'm going to start naming some famous classics, and I want you to finish the names of the titles. Nozomen leans forward in her seat. You'd think she was on a game show or something. The restaurant of many... Run. I am a. Wrong. On all three. 
Also, you weren't playing word association. I face palm. Then I quietly stepped down from the podium and walked back to Nozomi. Miss Suzumi Zome, Nozomi. I strongly encourage you to reconsider your school of choice. That's get dead. Like, no. Figure it out on your own. She begs. Good grief. Looks like I have to tutor her even more from now on. Yeah, so you might have a hard time here. The two of us continue our conversation over a cup of tea in the cafeteria. Zoman seems a little dejected as she gazes at her phone looking up the college's stats. Regular tests and entrance exams aren't really comparable. It depends on what major you're applying to, obviously. But in my experience, it's not easy to get in without some serious effort. Even if you're not majoring in literature, it wouldn't hurt to learn about your own language. Oops, Mazama picks up her paper cup, heaving a heavy sigh. Suddenly, Hiroto would come over to say hi, lets out a strange yelp when he sees Nozomi. Yo, Hiroto. Nozomi stands up, giving Hiroto a polite bow. Is what he said in every route so far. That's insane. For that's insane for a friend to say. A friend. Hey, screw you. This wasn't just sheer luck, you know. First, my dad and I, you know, thought none of the men around me have anything for support of the say, do they? Don't take advice from people you don't want to be like. This is one you don't want to be like. It was her idea, actually. She wanted to see what it was like being a student here. Hold on. Of course, I was planning to. He's being awfully empathetic. Despite the things he says sometimes, he's a good guy deep down. Is he? I take it back. He's just thinking about himself. It'll be tough, but I know how important this is to you. I'll find the time, I promise. I owe her for making breakfast. I owe her for making breakfast for me all the time. But more importantly, I do anything for my girlfriend. Hey, come on. There are other people around. Nozomi gives me a big hug from behind. I can feel her two bountiful at mounts. I mean, not out. Wait, what? Mounts pressing into my back. It makes me happy, but incredibly embarrassed at the same time. Hiroto's shoulders are trembling as he speaks. Is that right? I know. I'm sorry, Hiroto. <laughs> so dramatic. Hold on. I was about to start crying right now. For a second, I thought I forgot to hit record. <laughs> I was like, wait, I haven't been recording this entire time. <laughs> I would actually cry. No, I wouldn't cry. I'd get really, really, really upset and just leave. Yeah, sunset's pretty early this time of year. After we finish exploring the campus, the two of us walk around the station. 
Nozomi doesn't let go of my hand the entire time. I too continue holding onto hers. Still a little embarrassing even now, but the joy I feel more than makes up for it. <laughs> uh oh, sigh. A little. I know I shouldn't be, but I can't help it. I've seen how jealously Hiroto and the other guys at school reacted to her, it made me realize once again just how attractive a girl Nozomi is. Thought she made me strangely conscious of her and nervous to boot. That's because I always thought of you as just my childhood friend. That's why I never saw her as a woman. That's why I was able to joke with her about stuff like her used panty. Yeah, it happened five days ago. Of course I did. It's mouse son. Yep. Happy Christmas to you! It was at that moment. Timer. Whoops. That I first saw this woman as a woman and realized my own feelings for her. That's why I mustered that. What little courage I had and grabbed her hand. <laughs> Words can't express how happy I was when she'd held my hand in return. Nor how adorable her bashful smile was. I thought, with no exaggeration, I was genuinely glad to have her in my life. If you'd turned me down back then, I probably would have committed seppuku. <laughs> I'm a very fragile person. <laughs> Thankfully, not I. Do I really seem like that sort of guy who has the courage to confess to you on our first date? Definitely not, she says. I knew it was coming, but it kind of hurts to hear it stated so plainly, pain, plainly nonetheless. To be honest, we might have never even gone any further than holding hands if I didn't have to help you with the shrine meeting festival afterwards. The extra time that I got to spend with her alone made a huge difference. As we cross the street together, Nozoma pulls on my hand. Or rather, something pulls me backwards. What? Nozomi, watch out! <laughs> Nozomi jumps and leaps into my chest. She barely makes it. I catch her in my arms as a car floors past the red light. Missing her by mere inches. The clot, the clot, the car slams on its brakes, careening in the nearby utility pool. Our surroundings immediately erupt with shouts. I stand frozen, hugging the zoman in the middle of the crossing, but at the sound of a young woman's voice, my thoughts finally start to move. I I'm fine. What about you, Nozomi? Dude, we're about to lose Nozomi. <laughs> that would be a crazy knee slapper. I wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> Been later for you. Huh? Wasn't Nozomi the one who pulled me? But no, we'd been holding hands. Then, was it someone behind us? We hurry across the street before long an ambulance and a patrol car arrive on the scene. It appears that the man driving is unharmed. Whoa, I got chills from that. The police asks us a few questions and after answering them, we make our way home. Bro, I... okay. That's crazy. That's not a little thing. Bring our whole day down. When I mean little, I mean not little at all. That was humongous. That could have been terrible. Anyways, I'm gonna glaze this game a little more. Don't you just love the scenery of the city at night, during the day? Like, all these scenes, man, they're so awesome. Yeah, but the important thing is that we're both safe. That being said, though, I 
can't shake the doubts that are now creeping to mind. I can't help but think back to the day I looped back to the morning before my death. Could fate still be out to get me? Is God still trying to eliminate me? Oh, I know he's tripping. Ah, when I come to, I realize this omen is stretching up the shout into my ear. My thoughts momentarily come to a halt. Oh, all right. She pulls on my hand and begins to walk. Huh? Are you going to treat me to dinner again today? Are you sure? Suegros! Or, uh, I mean, mom and dad in law. Nozoma gives me her usual tender smile. At this point, I don't see why he wouldn't tell her about why he's low key freaking out, you know, because she now knows about the supernatural stuff. So, why not tell her about the whole death thing and coming back and faith and all that stuff? You know what I mean? I won't let anything darken the smile of hers. For Nozomi's sake and mine, I. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, it is time to wrap it up. This is actually perfect. I've been waiting. I was hoping I'd get one soon. Oh, we're talking about it. <laughs> well, that's an excellent spot to end. Well. It was a nice episode. It was very wholesome up until Nozomen almost died. That was not expected. It made me laugh, of course, <laughs> because I wasn't expecting. But it was a great episode. It was a great episode. Look, I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to be coming back to both of the games, King Court and Cavistella. Because, look, let's be real here. How is it that I started this game first and been unable to finish it? And it's not, again, it's not that I don't enjoy it. But the other games were the other games that I've played so far by Usersoft, they were so good that I just felt like I had to finish those first. And that doesn't make this game any less great. It's just my personal preference. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so very much for watching. I know a lot of people just want to see King Koi, you know, done and over with and move on with something else. But look, guys, we're gonna finish this game too. <laughs> we're gonna finish this game too. I know there's some people that want to see it too. Maybe not as much as King Koi, but they deserve that love too. All right. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know by hitting that like and subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay safe and until next time.